Hello everybody. Today I'm going to attempt to build a pizza pan holder because we have a wood-fired pizza oven outside and we're having a party tonight and I'm, I'm on a time limit but I wanted to share it could be an ultimate fail or it could be an epic success. So let's just see. Um, I'm going to use chopsticks. These are all scraps that I found inside of our shop. I've got a 5 16 and a quarter inch drill bit trying to figure out what size it is. Um, I want it to be able to come apart and not just stay together because I don't have a lot of storage. These are scraps that I found, this is two by three studs that were just in our shop. And I'm gonna lay them up like so. This is another two by three stud that I found. And I'm gonna put it like this. And then basically these are some two by two scraps that I found and they're going to go on oops they're not attached so I don't know if they're gonna be absolutely level they're gonna go like so and then this is my idea but um, we'll see how it works and then these are gonna go right here on both sides kind of at an angle the chopsticks on either side so that I'm gonna put I'm going to drill holes. I want it to be something I can disassemble, so I'm going to use these three-quarter inch dowels right here to um, put these on so that um, I can actually disassemble it because I don't want something ginormous to try to store. And uh, these will come out very easily also because they'll just be drilled in at an angle on both sides. So this will hold 10 pizza pans so that I can make the dough have it all in their individual pizza pans. I got these pizza pans at, at the dollar store. So I have, um, I actually have 12 of these from the dollar store. Everybody can have their own pan and make their own pizza and then bring it over to the oven where it can be cooked. And then also if it's, there's a backup, they could set it, all the pans on the holder so, and we can cook them in order. I don't have to make any cuts, so first we're gonna sand. So people, I like to sand my uh, skin off whenever I use a uh, orbit sander. Uh, I need a vice grip or something like that. Anyway, I've already drilled um, holes and assembled the dowels. Sorry, I didn't show you all that. Anyways, they're different lengths, but uh, I'm gonna fix that. And then I'm going to drill holes here. I'm going to mark the center and drill a hole here. So I'll show you that right now. These boards are actually 13 inches long. So I'm going to mark it with six and a half for my center. So six and a half is the center. And here we go. hole that I can put the dowel in. I'm going to make it a little bit looser so that I can disassemble it. I want this part to stay in and I want to be able to disassemble this so I'm going to kind of easy but I want it to go in easy. There we go. Nice. So that's there. Not too wobbly. But I don't want. I want to be able to fold the pizzas. The weight of the pizzas will help it stay stay put too. So there it is. Next, I'm going to try and figure out what size these uh, chopsticks are. So I'm going to drill. This is a piece of junk wood that something got into. This is, th this is one quarter inch. So let's see which one fits better. Actually, the 5 sixteenths. One quarter fits, but it's wobbly. So 5 sixteenths. We got it. The next thing I want to do is create like a guide for these because I want them to be in a slight angle. Oops. Got it. I like that. 
angle of these pizzas. Too much of an angle. You don't want the pizzas, all the toppings sliding off. So take two. So very slight. repeat what I just did. That's what I wanted right there. That's the angle. So now I'm going to use this board as a guide. I'm going to drill the hole all the way through. Okay, so this is now becoming my guide. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line here so that I can actually see where the hole is going to come out from the top because I really want it to be spaced even. So you see I can set it there and see the line and I'll mark lines on the side, measure the side and space it the way I want it. So I'm going to start at a half an inch. I'm marking with pencil so I can erase it. And then I'm going to mark it every two inches because I think that that's a good uh, amount of space for a pizza with the toppings. So start at half, go to two and a half, go to four and a half, go to six and a half, and then finish the top up here at eight and a half, which is almost to the top. I got my marks there. They're not very dark. I'll darken them a little bit. these two boards together. So now I'm going to line up these two marks so that I can get my an accurate drill on this. I am going to use the clamp this time. Okay, here we go. So here is one side of the pizza holder put together. It's actually going to hold eight pizzas, four on each side. So I'm going to build the other side and then we get to see the finished product. Next I'm going to Craig jig the uh, center to hold the two together. 